SART is an abbreviation for search and rescue transponder. Uh, you have two types of SART based on two completely different technologies, radar or AIS. And we start with having a look at the radar SART first. Uh, a radar SART will transmit uh, pulses when it's hit by a radar signal from a 3 cm radar. That is an X-band radar, uh, frequency about 9 gigahertz. Uh, the signal that it transmits will then be displayed on the radar screens of ships in the vicinity or the ship that transmitted the initiating radar signal as 12 dots on the screen. And we can see this on the image of a radar screen here. These 12 dots, they indicate uh, that a SART has been activated and the position of the SART will be at the nearest, at or near to the nearest dot there. Um, and the dots, as mentioned, they provide direction and distance towards the distressed. So, there. Uh, ships below 500 gross tons should have one sort. Above 500 gross tons should have two sorts located in the wheelhouse uh, by the exit. The range of the sort of a radar sort depends on how high up you can place it. If you get the higher they get, you can get it, the better. If it's lying down in the life raft, about 1.8 nautical miles. If it's standing up in the life raft, about two and a half. If it's lying floating in the water, about two miles. If you can get it one meter above sea level, a range of about five nautical miles. But these are all um, uh, figures that you need to uh, they are very approximate so but an an ex estimated range in the area two to five maybe seven eight nautical miles is no, no more than that should be expected uh, there are uh, different types of sorts you have fixed installations where they can be installed in lifeboats life rafts or mostly lifeboats you have transportable and these are the most common ones uh, should be uh, placed uh, by the exits from the bridge and must be taken along if you're abandoning ship. Uh, when ships search for a radar sort, uh, the radar must be set to a range of 6 or 12 nautical miles. Uh, and a radar sort, as anything based on radar, is ex exposed to or vulnerable to waves and precipitation. If you have uh, high waves, strong wind, much precipitation, it will reduce the effect uh, and the effective range of a radar sort. A sort is basically maintenance free, but the battery has an expiry date. Uh, it must be tested monthly against the X-band radar and tests must be recorded in the radio log. Uh, how to test it? You set the radar range to 6 or 12 nautical miles, turn the switch uh, on the APIRB to test. You can see it here. And you check for rings on the radar screen and a continuous sound and light from the sort. Uh, the battery should be able to handle 96 hours of standby time and 8 hours activated. The sort must be labeled with the type of sort, the manufacturer, the serial number, instructions for use, battery expiration date and a ship ID. We'll see a test here. Pull the switch down to test. You have a flashing light. A self test. And it then confirms that it's okay. Uh, AIS sort, the other technology, that's a search and rescue beacon that is based on AIS technology. The, the AIS sort sends an identity code, a GPS location, and a distinctive red icon. Uh, this is visible for all vessels with AIS within range, and it will show up on the chart sc plotter screen or radar screen if the AIS is connected. And the device will mark the position of a person, life raft, or a vessel in distress. Um, it's not based on radar. Uh, AIS SART was approved as GMDS's equipment from 2010, and it will. We expect that it will eventually replace the radar SART. Uh, AIS SART uses an MMSI number that starts with 970, 972, or 974. This means that it's not the same MMSI number as the vessel that the SART belongs to. Uh, we can see here this is uh, from an activated um, uh, AIS SART. Uh, you can see here MSI number 970 and then the digits. Um, the icon from an activated AIS SART looks like this, a red cross, very distinctive. So that's how an AIS SART uh, it's, works. It's the technology of the future.